Hello there, folks. Hey, uh, this quick video today, I'm, I'm taking a class program that I teach, and we do this in class, and we build a bunch of stuff in one of my virtual classes and create a bunch of things. But what I'm doing here, <clears throat> I got to thinking about this. In my normal class, we do some logic to keep track of how many gallons uh, someone puts in a tank and how many gallons somebody takes out of a tank, or just some quantity. And the way we do this in a normal class is over here in the left, we have a category called tags um, for my tank here, a category. And we do a bunch of stuff in here, this stuff. Uh, but there's a tag here, a couple tags, pump and valve. And the pump tag uh, in the normal class I teach, we go over here to the triggers tab and we do some things when the person turns on the pump. We do what we call get start level here. Notice it's complex. So if I hit the edit button here, you can see we're just doing a simple taking the level raw and making it equal to some start level to memorize where the starting point was. And then on the trigger two, when we turn the pump off, we calculate the tank fill level. And if you look, here's the kind of the simple logic we're doing here in this case. We're taking the, the current level at that point called the stop level. And we do some math of stop level minus start level tells us how much somebody put in the tank. And then we're doing some array thing here and so forth. But uh, anyway, what I'm trying to do here is I was trying to think of how can I make these, uh, instead of being programs that are executed here at the triggers tab, what if I wanted to make them over here uh, as a program that somebody could drag and drop? So watch what I do here. I'm going to go to the file pull down, go on down to utilities, and I'm going to do this function called programize complex. So I'm going to click on this. And of course it comes up this operation can't be undone, no big deal. But it's going to <clears throat> take these functions we did here and it's going to make them programs over here. Now I want you to notice before I click yes, there are no errors or anything down here. So I'm going to go ahead and click yes to this. Watch what happens. Oh, what the heck. So Crimson now says errors. And I want you to notice something here, team. Right here, now it put in the name complex one, complex two. Just want you to kind of notice that because if I click on the errors, boom, it takes me to programs over here. And here's that complex one. Now notice, it says the word was, and you'll see this on all these programs. The word was, which is interesting because when something compiles and it doesn't reconnect to a tag or so forth, you get this, you get this was function. It was this, but now it's not. So you're asking, or you're wondering, well, what's the problem right now? Why, why is this not working? Well, if you look here, team, let's see if I get my arrow pump to work. Over here on this side, this, these tags that you see are all at the root directory. However, there was a tag here called level raw that, by, by the way, is in the category called my tank directory, and, and it's in here. Well, once we compiled complex, the complex tool uh, doesn't know to nest this or didn't know to nest this. So this is why it's given this was. Now, if I was to click the translate button, it all of a sudden wants to go recreate that. I'm going to say, no, that's not what I want to do here. I want to be using this tag. So I'm going to click no to that. Forget that procedure. And what I can do, i got two ways I can do this. Uh, I can put my cursor here to highlight that level raw. And I know it's actually this one here that's inside the folder called My Tank. So if I drag this guy out here, place it right here, bada bing. Notice the was is still there. So I'm going to hit the translate button up here and see if it compiles correctly. Boom. Now I'm green. I'm good. That program is fine. I still got errors down here because I got other ones here. But that one is now compiled correctly. Now let me take this one step further. Hmm. Let's go to the next complex tube. Notice we got uh, things in here. Uh, pretty sure it's the same fault if I hit the translate button. Yep, it barks at the same level raw. I'll say no. Hmm, what else could I do here? Well, you know what I could do? Let me click away. This is inside the program. Hmm, what about up here? Look at this. See this right here where it says complex 2? That's just the name it threw it over here. And then it says int i inside the parentheses here. Hmm. Well, if I click the edit button right here, it brings up the 
uh, prototype, if you will, the parameters for this program. So it's an integer. By default, Crimson, when we did complex, programized complex, it created an I. Actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make this be the tag level underscore raw, which is ironically the same name here. I'll click the OK button. I still got the was here. Now I'm going to hit the translate and see if there's any other problems here. Ready? One, two, three. Boom. Oh, look, all good. There's no problems. Now notice it put the tag level raw there. Now I'm going to say the two things. Well, one thing here, the name complex two is what Crimson did by default. But this program is actually calculating the tank fill level. So over here, I'm going to rename this one. Uh, I'll call it calculate tank. Oops, tank fill like this. Okay. Oops. Tank level. Enter. Notice Crimson still shows that name here, the old name complex complex here. However, if I click away somewhere else and then click back on this, it now refreshes correctly here. Okay. So that is that, but this in here means that if I wanted to call this program, I got to feed it the parameter. Now, let me go back to where we originally started, back here on data tags over here. This one still says complex one. I didn't change it. This one here has this general and has the I in there. Well, what I really need to do is I need to put this instead of the I, which is what it originally was declared. Interesting, that's still I. Uh, that needs to be the tag called level raw. So I'm going to delete that and I'll drag the level raw right here into the parentheses. Notice the black line when I get the black line to drop in the parentheses like that. That's what I want to feed that parameter. I'll click the OK button. And at this point, that should work fine. I'm going to go back and fix this one because this code name is bad. So I'll go back to programs. Complex one was actually uh, get start level. So I'm going to call this one get start level. Once again, notice here it doesn't change. If I click somewhere else and then refresh, then it changes. Now, if I go back here to data tags, get start level. But again, there's that parentheses I. I'll click the edit button. I'm going to put my cursor in here. I'm going to delete the I and I need to feed it the level raw. So I'll drag it right here. Notice the black line. When I get the black line in between the parentheses, I'll drop it. Boom. Boom. Perfect. That's exactly the way we were before. And uh, that's just one way in this example that we're using the programized complex. Obviously, I still got errors because I got all these other ones I got to fix. But uh, you kind of get the gist of where I'm going with this. Hey, just thought I'd show a quick adventure, a quick uh, video on this. I'm going to implement this in my next class, actually. Thanks a lot. Have a great day, folks.